it's so awesome to have this community of awesome people that grown into this awesome thing. It's really cold. I'm just out here with no clothes on. Uh. All right, what's up? It's been a couple of weeks, I think, since the last, maybe a week, maybe a week, maybe a little more than a week. Uh, it's just been super busy. We've had a, a great couple of weeks uh, on the podcast. The last few episodes have been pretty awesome, and I've got a lot of stuff to talk about here on the vlog, but uh, I think I'm just going to break them up into little chunks. So, uh, you know, if you haven't <clears throat> if you haven't seen the podcast uh, with uh, Alex Macklin, definitely go watch that because it was really good and, you know, just really, really sparked a whole other topic that I want to get onto uh, in the vlog. And so I, I'm going to talk about that in the next one. Um, we also did a super cool podcast with Dale Sanders. And I was, I'm looking through the list here. I think Dale Sanders comes out January 24th. Right, so today is the twentieth. So you got four days, or today's the twenty-first. So you got three days. So it comes out this week. But this dude's the oldest guy to have ever hiked the Appalachian Trail, <clears throat> and he's eighty-two years old. And man, it was a great conversation. So uh, look out for that and make sure you watch it because it's or listen to it, hand watch it, or whatever you want. However you consume the podcast, make sure you listen to that one um like make sure you listen to all of them man come on <laughs> but uh so what, what i want to talk about today is i got these things in the mail this week and it is called the shoe cue um it is an insert for your shoe <clears throat> that we talk a lot about uh correct position when running, uh, no, that's what Valerie coaches to not be heel striking, to be on the ball of your foot when you're running. And we want to try to help you get there. And that's, that's basically what we do. And <clears throat> or that's, those are the kinds of things we talk about a lot when we're coaching runners. And, uh, this product, uh, is, is going to help you learn to stay off of your heels. Uh, if you look at it, it's got that nice, these little bumpy, I don't know what else to call them, these bumpy plastic, thing, th plastic things in the, in the heel of the insert. And so when you're running, if, you're, if your weight is too much on the heel, it's going to shoot this. It looks, if you look at it, it's like, it, it, man, that would be uncomfortable or it would hurt. And it does not hurt. But when you, when you heel strike, you feel that you feel this little it's like a coach's cue it's, it's a perfect name for the shoe it's a perfect name for the product because that's exactly what it feels like when you land on your when your weight is too far back in your heels you definitely feel this little tingly sensation and you're like oh i'm, I'm too far and there's too much weight i, I ran four miles and did my first run in them today and i'm definitely going to do more because it was very very interesting uh running in them so uh, let me read this let me read there it came with this little card here, shoe cue, and <clears throat> the description says uh, shoe cues textured heel. I'm sorry, I'm gonna start over. Shoe cues textured heel restores important sensory feedback from your feet to your brain. This allows you to understand how your foot is in contact with the ground in real time. By reestablishing this feedback loop, we give you the ability to adjust movement mechanics to improve performance and reduce risk of injury. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a great uh, description because that's that's how it feels. It feels like when I was running today, I, I definitely got the feeling. Oh, <clears throat> I don't. I'm not a bad heel striker, but I. But even even if I I could feel myself getting getting too too much too far back on my heel I would definitely feel that sensation so um, it how it works is you take I'll just show you you take the uh, got my trusty new balance Leadville shoes but luckily I was a size 10 and this thing fits right 
into my shoe. I didn't have to cut it or anything, but it's got little things. Yeah, it's got little things on the bottom, so you cut it to trim to fit in your shoe. But the thing just pops right in there, like so. Hold on, I'll show you. Like that. And you just put it in there, put your shoe back on, and then go go for a run. Now, it does say that you can run, ride, lift, and move. And uh, I have not done any of that yet, but I did go run. And I can tell you it's definitely worth uh, giving it a shot because you will definitely feel how you are, you know, if, if you're on your, if your weight is in your heels too much, you're definitely going to feel that. And it uh, is definitely a really neat product. So go check them out. Uh, ShoeQ.com, that's S-H-O-E-C-U-E.com. And uh, check it out for sure. Um, you can follow them on Instagram and, and Facebook and all that. But yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience. I think it's a great coaching or a great technique a great way to improve your running technique uh, and to learn to stay off your heels. So I wanted to share that with you uh, because I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, next time uh, we'll get into a longer conversation about training and uh, some other stuff. So uh, have a great week and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>